Hello everyone, Ronnie J here from internetradiostation.com and in this video, this is where we begin to use and see the power of SAM Broadcaster. In this video, I'm going to talk about how to set up and automate a multi-format radio station. And we're going to do it without any PAL scripts, which is another video. And I personally love PAL scripts. And when I get into PAL scripts, I think you will too. PAL scripts actually is the way to go. Uh, but at this point, I have not discussed PAL scripts. But uh, in the lesson on the Internet and the video that accompanies that lesson, I think you will be thoroughly convinced that uh, PAL scripts are, are absolutely a godsend. And I will show you how to automate your station without, again, without the use of PAL scripts. And we'll do it with clock wheels and events and categories. However, before you do anything, you have to sit down, plot out and plan what your station is going to do, how it's going to do it, and when it's going to do it. So in my sample station, I've created a schedule that you can look at and see what I'm talking about here. In my internet radio station format, this assumes that I will be streaming 24-7. This is my sample schedule. I'll be playing smooth jazz from 6 a.m. in the morning to 9 a.m. Then I'll do indie as independent artist from 9 a.m. to 12 noon. Then I'll do a nostalgic lunch hour from 12 noon to 2 p.m. Then I'll do big band from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. Then I'll do the smooth jazz top 20 countdown at 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. Then I'll do a quiet storm from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. Then a cool jazz from 9 p.m. to 12 midnight and then jazz vocal greats from 12 midnight to 6 a.m. So you can see that this is a 24 hour schedule. So what you have to do is that you will have to create a category for each one of these. I will create a category for smooth jazz, indie, nostalgic lunch hour, big band, smooth jazz top 20 countdown, the quiet storm, cool jazz, and jazz vocal greats. So over here on my desktop B, I have the playlist section displayed here, and you see it has a categories here. So I'll go in here and I'll create my categories. Let me show you how to do that. And let me move this off to the side. Over here under categories, you'll see a content star. Double click on that, and it displays other categories here. And these are the ones that Sam Broadcaster creates for you by default. I'm going to click on the one that says music. And I'm going to right click on music and select new and create a category called smooth jazz. So there's a category for smooth jazz. All right. Now the next one is going to be indie, then nostalgic lunch hour and so forth. So I'm going to create categories for each one of these. Again, right click on the music folder, select new, then I'll do one for indie. So as you can see, I've created a category under the music folder here. For smooth jazz, indie, nostalgia, the smooth jazz top 20 countdown, the quiet storm, cool jazz, and jazz vocal greats. And notice that uh, my schedule covers a rotation and it covers a full day, 6 a.m. to 6 a.m. And the way this works here is that you would load up music into each of these folders here and you will set a schedule for Sam to go into these folders and play the content of these folders. And I'm going to demonstrate that for you. Up here in our playlist, I don't like using anything up here. So what I normally do, I'll go ahead and delete this default virtual folder that Sam created. I don't need it. So it's gone. And notice this right here that says music all. You would never use that because if you put content inside music all, it's going to play everything and there will be no way for you to uh, use Sam to schedule what you want to play in this folder smooth jazz for example indie the nostalgia lunch hour and so forth so you will never place anything inside this container right here if you want to have a multi formatted radio station and while we're in here under the folder called sound effects and pull this down and I'm going to create a folder called Music Beds. And so whatever you put in that folder, you can have it play in the background while you're doing a talk show, for example. Station IDs. Do not use all. 
let's create a folder called top of the hour and as the name implies your station IDs depending on how many you have will be loaded into this folder and you will schedule all your station IDs to play at the top of the hour and I'll show you how you can have a different uh, station ID playing at the top of the hour so your listeners are hearing the same station ID at the top of the hour and let's create another one called listener call in so we'll do a new and we'll call this listener call ins and what this is this is an mp3 or whatever you load into here and it's pre-recorded and whenever a caller calls in they'll hear something like you know this is uh, uh, Ronnie J you're listening to the smoothest jazz radio station on the planet and then you take your callers request jingles uh, if you have any you would create a folder under jingles and if you have any jingles you load those into this folder here under promos don't use promos all Sam Broadcaster creates a demo promos folder I recommend that you rename that call it station promos and you load up all your station promotions inside this folder here and you can set a schedule for it and you see how that's done later under advertisements again don't use advertisements all you would create a separate folder here and I'll create one here and call it customer ads so if you're selling advertising on your website they'll pay, they'll pay you whatever you prearrange and you would upload their content here and that content is going to normally be their commercials and it'll be mp3 format and you can schedule an event for what's ever loaded into this folder to play at a particular time you might want an ad for your customer to run uh, once every 30 minutes once every an hour once every two hours once every 15 minutes that's up to you and that depends upon how many uh, customers that you have that are advertising with you news if you're doing news interviews other can be anything that you want it's the same thing you would not use news all you would not use interviews all and you wouldn't use other all you would create folders under each of these categories I don't use news uh, interviews you may do a pre-recorded interview for example and you might want to schedule that to be played so you would create a folder under interviews and you would give that a name say uh, interview with Boney James for example and you might want to schedule that to play at a certain time so these are all of our categories right here and whatever you placed inside here and all you have to do is fill each of these up with music you place all your music for smooth jazz here all your indie music here uh, nostalgia lunch hour music here your top 20 countdown inside this folder the quiet storm music here cool jazz music inside this one and jazz will group greats here you would load up all of your music beds into this folder all your station IDs into the top of the hour folder all your your listener call-in mp3s or mp3 here all your jingles would go inside here inside the folder that you create here if you have any jingles all your station promos would go inside this category if you have any advertisements all of your customer ads would go inside this folder so how do you load music into each of these folders it's very simple there's several ways you can do it you can actually click on the folder and you can grab a bunch of music and you can drag and drop them into the folder or you could click on this plus symbol here see it says here add files to category you click on that and you can do add files or add directory and let me emphasize here that you if you're running an internet radio station you really have to be very organized as far as organizing your music if you don't throw all your music together if you have all smooth jazz music create a folder someplace on your computer that contains all of your smooth jazz music all of your indie music place that in a separate folder because this way when you want to add music into your categories all you have to do is click say add directory navigate to that directory and Sam Broadcast will import all of that music within that category into the appropriate category here. So to load up your music into each of these categories, uh, and what I'll do here, I'll load up uh, some smooth jazz music, I'll load up uh, my station IDs down here, top of the hour, 
and I'll load up my Smooth Jazz Top 20 countdown. I won't do anything with the Quiet Storm or Cool Jazz. This is just for uh, demonstrative purposes to show you how to do it. So you could just simply highlight the folder and drag and drop your music on top of it. Or you could select the plus symbol down here under the Tracks in Selected Category and see where it says there, Add Files to the Category. So click on that plus sign and you could either add the all the music in a particular directory or add the files individually. I have my music organized in directory so I'm going to click the add directory button here and navigate to a location uh, let's say on my desktop and I'm going to select smooth jazz and there it is I have sample smooth jazz select it and click OK see there all the music is imported down here for that category Next, I'll load up some station IDs. So let's go down to station IDs. Now, select the top of the hour folder here under station IDs. Click on the plus symbol and add directory. I have all my station IDs in a directory. So I should have some right there, sample station IDs. So I'll select that and click OK. And all those station IDs are imported here. And all these are MP3. Next, I'll load in my Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown Show, so I'll select that directory. Then click on the plus symbol and navigate to the directory where I know my shows are. And let's see, let's pull this down, Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown, there it is. So I'll select that directory, click OK, and there it is. This is the RIP Radio Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown, week of November the 17th. It's a 90-minute show in its appropriate category. So what I have loaded up so far are all the music that I want to play under the category of Smooth Jazz. I have my Smooth Jazz Top 20 Countdown here and I also have my station IDs that will play at the top of the hour. So the next thing that we'll need to do is schedule events so that what appears in these categories will play. So to do that you want to go to your event scheduler and I'll click on this plus symbol here and it brings up this other window. I'm a pretty organized person and you should too if you're running an internet radio station. We want to give the event name the same name as the directory. Recall here that we're doing an event for Smooth Jazz. So what I'm going to do here, I'm going to take this, I'm going to copy that and place it up here as my event name. And this is for me, this is not for the public, this is just what I see. The public doesn't see this, but this lets me know that my smooth jazz items will play from 6 a.m. to 9 a.m. and I come down here and I'll click recurring event and this will be every day that's what that means if you pull this down you can see other options here you can have it be just on a Monday or a Tuesday or just on the weekend say Saturday and Sunday but in this case I want this to be every day recurring event and I'll place my time here which is 6 a.m. before I move on before I click the add button to add that event here Remember when I said I had three songs in the queue in a previous video? Well, when the previous show begins, there will be three songs sitting in the queue. And those three songs have to play to a completion before the next event occurs. So if I got three songs in the queue and say if each song averages five minutes long, well, I want those three songs to go ahead and play. And since I have those three songs in the queue, and if I set this to 6 a.m., then the next show or this show is not going to start playing, or these songs in this category is not going to start playing until the three songs in the queue from the previous show has played. So that means then, in a nutshell, that the Smooth Jazz program really isn't going to start playing until 6.15 a.m. So to fix that, I'm going to set this to 5.45 a.m. That way it gives me enough time for those three songs in the queue from the previous show to finish and then this program will start almost right dead on at 6 a.m. Then you click Add. And so it's there. Over here where it says Action, Load Clock Wheel. Well, right now we don't have a clock wheel created for this program. So let me show you how to create a clock wheel for all of your categories. And what I'll do here is here, I'll click OK to save this and then come back in here and load up a clock wheel after I've created it. File name is empty, so it's not going to let me do that right now. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and exit out of this program, create a clock wheel, come back and reset this schedule, then load that clock wheel. 
And you do the same thing for each of your categories. You will create a clock wheel for each of them. That clock wheel is what loads your programs at the times you specify. So let's go ahead and do one. 